I think it's 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 overdoing it right here. Oh, is this a new one already? Yeah, it's a new one. Oh, hi, my name is Francisco, Francisco's Automotive. We're in the middle of doing an AC service on this Ford. And the first thing I did is I ran my pressures. And when I ran my pressures, I found out that my pressures were a little bit low. The cap temperature was 50 degrees. I want you guys, if you're going to be doing it at home, get yourself a little uh, thermostat that you can put in, in, in the radio, in the uh, vents to see how cold it is. On a good, on a warm day, uh, you should get 40 degrees. This one had 50 degrees. My pressures were 25 and 115. That told me that it was low. If you have some really good gauges, you can do this at home yourself. And if you're going to be doing it quite a bit, invest in a few gauges. But if not, then at least the, the cap tem temperature will tell you. If you got 44, 48, 50 on a cool day, you probably need a recharge. I want to see 38, 40 in a perfect world. Now, the first thing I did is recover the refrigerant. After I recovered the refrigerant, I replaced the straighter valves. These are the straighter valves, and this is the tool that you use. This is the low side. You unscrew it, and then you take it out and you put a new one on. This was already got a new one. Same thing over here. This tool you use to remove it. This I removed this one. I put a new one in. Just put it in. Now, the reason I replace them is because this is a big source of leak when you do air conditioning. I see guys do a recharge, not replace these, and then it leaks. So they're very inexpensive, and they stop a big leak. One of the things that I want you to do at home is, I want you to do a visual on the, uh, on the uh, car. And what I mean by a visual is, you look at the condenser. On the condenser, hard to see on this vehicle, but on the condensers right there, you look for oil spots. Look real carefully with a flashlight. If you see an oil spot, you probably have a leak. You look at the hoses, I'm gonna show you the hose on this one. This one over here, already had the uh, air conditioning recharge. This one here uh, was also low on refrigerant. This is maintenance that I recommend you do every four or five years, whether you think it's getting cold or not, because you don't want to find out that your car is not cold when you're out in the middle of the desert, you're on vacation with your family. It happened to me uh, in Lake Havasu, and Neither my air conditioning system was not working correctly because it seemed fine here. You know, like the shoe man, his kids got holes in the shoes, my air conditioning didn't work. So after I replaced the straighter valves, I put it on vacuum for one hour to remove the moisture. I don't know how you're gonna do that at home, but moisture combined with refrigerant creates a chemical you don't want. So I put on vacuum for an hour, I recharged it. I also, if you come over here, you can also, these are the hoses. Your big hose is usually your low side and your small hose is usually your high side. Like, and that's condensation. But if you see something oily, that means you got signs of a leakage. And if you're not sure, bring it by and let me look at it. This particular vehicle was low on refrigerant. We took out two pounds and it takes three pounds. And so it's got, it had 45 degrees. It was still cold. I mean, for most people, when we got done at 40 degrees, it went from 25, one, uh, 25, 125 to 33, 140. Now, temperature changed a little bit since we started doing this. And this is what I mean by you can't go by pressures. In the old days you could, but nowadays you can't. Now, a little bit later, a little bit warmer, and we have 160 and 38. On a very hot, hot day, humid day, you're gonna have uh, 300. The way air conditioning works, you take heat and you remove it, you transfer it to the atmosphere. You take it out of the car and send it to the atmosphere. The low side, the way we control the temperature is by 
controlling the pressures. So we control the pressure, we control the temperature. Now, 10% undercharge can send you compress it to an early grave. 10% overcharge can send you compress it to an early grave. Very, very important that you charge it properly. Now, if you have, if you own a Cadillac or some of the Audis and Volkswagens, some of the newer, some of the Lexuses, after you recharge it, it's still not gonna work, don't panic. Do a little bit of reading, call me. On a lot of vehicles, you have to reset the computer. You have to tell the computer that, hey, I charged it up. So the computer goes, okay, I'll let it work again. And because it's got pressure switch, and when the pressure switch, notice that the pressure is too high or too low, it'll shut the system up to protect the system. Now, when you do air conditioning, you also have to know electrical. And to do it, I have the electrical equipment to do the air conditioning. And by the way, if you have a hybrid, if you have a hybrid, like it says right here, only hybrid vehicles. Because hybrid, you cannot mix the oils. Honda's got its own oil. Toyota's got its own oil. Ford has got its own oil. All the hybrids, they got their own oil. And don't mix them up because you will cause havoc to a car. On the earlier Toyotas, if you mix regular oil, uh, AC oil, with a hybrid car, it will shut the compressor, it will shut the car down. I don't know how it did it or what it did, but it did it. And so, it's very important that you know. And if you, if you go to your mechanic and he doesn't even know that, then, then run. If you got a hybrid, run. Ask him if he's got the right equipment. Um, and if you got any questions, give us a call, 714-375-2661. Thank you for watching the video.